Cotton Candy Fiasco by Rachel Hills and Louis Perez. Mom gives me cotton candy, and that's when it all gets tricky. Now from my toes up to my nose, I am a wee bit sticky. I climb onto a fairground ride. My bum sticks to the seat. I'm stuck there for so long a time, they bring me food to eat. But then, a pigeon comes along. I'm munching on my fries. He hones in on his target, but he's in for a surprise. For when he starts to zero in, to snatch food from my hand, he sticks up on my fingers. Oops, I don't think that was planned. He squawks, he yells and flops about. His pigeon flock appears. They stick onto my shoulders and they stick onto my ears. They squabble and they cause a scene with all the fairground food. They spread out such a sloppy mess and now they all are glued. They flap their wings so very hard, the ride begins to lift. We bump into a hot dog stand and now we are a trip. I hear my mother shout. As she begins to fret, her arms are flapping wildly, and she looks a bit upset. There's really nothing I can do. We bounce up to the sky. As I peek over, looking down, I shout to Mom, goodbye. I say to my new pigeon friend, now look what you have done. He then looks straight into my eyes. Does he think this is fun? He calls to all his feathered friends. Wow, their response is loud. But then they take a sudden turn right toward a thundercloud. Oh no, what are you planning now? Don't be a silly bird. The flock continues onward though, and we look so absurd. The lightning flashes, thunder booms. Wind howls, oh so loud, as ice cold rain starts pelting down like pebbles from the cloud. And as the rain unsticks the glue, wind plucks the pigeons free. I cry and holler to the birds, but wait, you can't leave me. If you just simply fly away, I'll splat hard on the ground. The bird in front just looks at me. And then he turns around. He calls out to his feathered friends. The whole flock looks then turns. They grab onto the skybound ride. The storm cloud twists and churns. They strain beneath colossal weight, refusing to let go. See, friends hold one another up in times when strong winds blow. They bring me to my mother and they set me on the ground. I say my heartfelt thank you, and we share hugs all around. I turn to ask my mother, can we keep them pretty please? See, after all, they saved my life. I smile as mom agrees. Who would have thought a pack of fries and cotton candy smidgens would be the reason we end up with far too many pigeons? <laughs> The end.